Hi folks and welcome. Thanks for taking the time to view my video. My name is Rodney Urand. Most people call me Rod. And as you can tell, I'm not from around here. Even though I've been in this country for 12 years and I've been a US citizen all this time, people still stop me in the street and say, where are you from? And I tell them Maryland. In a moment, I'm going to be letting students in and teaching my Excel class. I'd love to have you stay the whole day, but with your busy schedule, I'm guessing you don't have the time. When the time is right, I'm going to have you pop back in to see a few key segments. Thanks, and I'll be right back. All right, folks, we have had an in-depth morning. We've covered 3D referencing, linking, and some neat formatting techniques. While your lunch is settling, I'm going to lead off with Rod's top five hot tips. Let me show you this. This is a worksheet that I have inherited. Many of us like to have our worksheets match our organizational style. For example, right here I have company names and quarterly sales data. Now I could save this file and then create another file for the second quarter, the third quarter and the fourth quarter. But we learned earlier today that I can insert a worksheet. What I needed to do was go up to the insert menu just here and click on worksheet. Instantaneously, a worksheet appears. The hot tip, to make sure that all of my worksheets appear like that, all I have to do is press the F4 key. The F4 key repeats my last action. I do it once, I have another sheet. I do it again, and I have four sheets, one for each quarter. We also learned earlier that I could take my sales data and I could copy it from the first sheet onto the second sheet, the third and the fourth. We learned that I could select it by using this button here, the Select All button. And then Control C was the keyboard shortcut that allowed us to copy our data. Once my data was copied, I could go over here and select Control V to paste. We learned that we needed to reformat that. The hot tip, what if I take this sheet here and instead of copying and pasting, what if I just pressed the control key and clicked on the sheet tab and moved it? Watch what I'm doing here. I'm on the sheet tab. I have the control key pressed. And now what I'm going to do is just drag that to the right. When you press the control key, you get an exact duplicate of that same sheet. So you'll see here I have quarterly sales data for the company name. And I have sheet two with the exact same quarterly sales data. I can go ahead and delete these three sheets by right clicking and deleting and now I've got data that is exact replicates. If I had formulas in here, page setup information or anything along those lines, it would cross over automatically. The hot tip, what about renaming? We learned that I could right click, rename the sheet and give it a name. The hot tip for that, simply just double click when you double click on the sheet tab, you get to rename this anything you want. Of course, for me, it makes sense to have it look and resemble the first quarter sales. I press enter and lock that in. I double click again, and I now have my second quarter sales. Now, the next thing for me to do is continue to duplicate. I drag, I press the control key, I drag across, I've now created my third sheet, and do it again, I've created my fourth sheet. I now have everything there for me. All I need to do is double click, rename that third quarter sales, and finish it off with fourth quarter sales. What I've done is I've created an exact, precise worksheet and workbook that contains all of my data. The whole concept here is to make it match your organizational style. So now you've got renamed sheets that make sense. All you need to do is just change the data as you see fit. 3,500,680. And now you've got 500,680. Your worksheet combined with all of that. In addition to this, I need to give this a name and save the workbook so that I don't lose my data when the power goes out. We learned again that we could click on the file menu and then 
choose to save or save as. The hot tip, pressing F12. F12 will quickly allow you to give the file a name and I'm going to call this yearly sales data. And what it allows me to do is tell me what I want to save it as and where I want to save it. In this case, I'm going to put it in my documents file. Before I head to the next page and more hot tips, what questions might you have about these hot tips? Any questions that I could help address on these hot tips? What questions might you have for me on these hot tips? Yes? Okay, you renamed the sheets um, and you, you move them around and everything. But uh, you're talking about matching our style. Uh, can, we, can we color the tabs or anything? Because I like to keep things when I print them out into binders that have actual tabs. That's a colors. great question. For those of you who may not have heard, Rob had a very good question. And the question was, can we, in addition to renaming our sheets, can we give them color-coded tabs? What I want you to do is imagine that binder that you purchased from Office Depot. You have your 12 months with each month of data color-coded. Wouldn't it be great if we could do the exact same thing here? As we learned earlier today, the secret to a lot of things in Excel is right-clicking. Where you right-click makes a huge difference. You right-click over here and you have an option here for tab color. In addition to that, I can choose all of the tab colors. Let's say my first quarter tab is orange. I go and I make the change here to the second quarter, right-click, and I change that tab color. Now I've got my color-coded tabs. And are you ready for one last final hot tip? When in doubt, right-click. Down here in my navigational arrows, all I need to do is right-click and I get a nice drop-down menu of all of these worksheet tabs that I can navigate so I can cycle between first, second, third, and fourth. Any other questions before we move on? All right, folks, up until this point, we have been working in Excel solely by itself. And you know what? We've gotten pretty good at starting to understand the capabilities of what Excel can do for us. Let's kick it up a notch. What I want to do is get you exposed to the whole suite of programs. What do I mean by that? Well, when I talk about Excel, what I want to get you exposed to is how Excel works with all of the other programs that come part of Microsoft Office. For example, you can take a list in Excel and you can send that to Microsoft Access. You can use the database functionality in Access to make all sorts of things happen with your data. You could create a chart in Excel and take that same chart and deposit that into a PowerPoint slide. You can take your data in Excel and what you can do with that is now send it and merge it with data in Microsoft Word. When you start to use the whole suite instead of just being comfortable with one program, you are now being set apart from other users. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video. We have just scratched the surface. If you have any questions, I look forward to answering them in person. Thank you again. My name is Rodney Urand.